you know, when, when Kirk talks about they go to the line and they're up against a bad coverage and Jay says, just run the play anyway, I, I get the sense that they just want to sort of get this over with. He, he seems to take these games as sort of drudgery and try to avoid injury more than he does really get real reps in there and take it seriously. I don't know. That's just the vibe I get. And normally I'd agree with you, but here's one thing. I study body languages of the coaches. I see every word they say as coaches here, so I can tell when something's wrong. Mm -hmm. He had his real frustrated face on after the game. Yeah. Even though they'd won, theoretically, I could see in on he was pretty ticked about the effort. Right. So it may have been preseason, but he, you could see that frustration in him thinking, oh, man, what is going on with you guys? Yeah, I don't know. I think you bring up a good point, The and we've talked about it the last few days. I have assumed that Pryor would be able to fill in, and, you know, he can't replace two guys, but he would go in there and he would certainly do his part, catch 80 balls if he stays healthy. Now I wonder about that. Now everybody that's there at camp and watch as the guy's unbelievable, it just hasn't translated into the games yet. And it, let's be honest, it's not like they're featuring him. They're mm -hmm. only going his way a couple times per game. Um is there a legitimate reason to, to be concerned about his contributions this year, or is it just simply small sample size? It's an, it's a new team. It's a new chemistry. It just hasn't you know clicked yet, but don't worry. Come the regular season, they'll get it going. Yeah, in the OTAs, he was doing what he was doing in these preseason games. He wasn't making these kind of catches. For a guy that catches 400 balls off the jugs every day, that's a surprise. Then he looked pretty decent in camp, but as Kirk recently said, camp is a false reality. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now it, I see him in these competitive games not making these catches. I think Jordan Reed will have more catches than Fire will in the end. Mm -hmm. You know, the biggest problem is Doxon hasn't shown up yet. Right. There's where they're thinking, okay, we got Pryor, and then Doxon will be healthy. Well, that hasn't happened. There's the hole. There's one of the big holes in this offense. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a significant drop-off now, whereas, you know, in, in middle of the summer, or late spring, we, we thought, okay, Pryor had a pretty good year last year. He's a physical specimen. Dachshund, we, we assume, is going to be healthy and, and play well. But, you know, now that what you're seeing is a significant drop-off between Deshaun and Pierre and what you have now. Well, you just can't, you can't rely on Dachshund. Yeah. Right, and you had 2,000-yard receivers. But we thought, okay, well, now you're trading them for two guys in the red zone who can catch the fake and take each corner, but read in the middle. This will work out fine. Well, we haven't seen any of that yet. That doesn't mean it won't happen, but, you know, what you were trading for so far has not shown up. The good news is they still have Jordan Reed, and if he stays healthy, he's going to have a monster year. I'm convinced of it. Uh, you still have Jameson Crowder, who is way better than anybody ever imagined when they drafted him. I mean, he's a guy that could catch 80 balls for you. Yep. And I think he could play a variety of different spots if they if they had to take him out of the I spot. think they got to throw to Thompson more, too. And Thompson is really becoming kind of a key guy. The problem with Thompson is they're definitely afraid that if they use him more than 10 touches a game, he's going to break. Uh -huh. This is a small guy. I mean, tough kid, very talented, but small. And they just don't want to overuse him. So there's a real problem there for them. And when you watch Reed in the game the other night, I saw Kirk sort of look like, oh, there's my old friend right there. And he threw a couple balls when he was having trouble, went to Reed. There's the real safety valve for him. And that's why I think Reed, if he stays healthy, he's definitely a 70, 80 catch guy. What do you think of Stafford's deal and, and how that's Kirk? Man, I know Kirk woke up to good news on there, didn't he? It was like 92 mm -hmm. million, 130 overall. That's more than they were even talking about with Kirk. Now the bar's gone up another 10 mil or more. You know, and it's the other Redskins are totally, you know, going to have to pay for the sins on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was a little high for him. High anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends on when you're up. As long as you're, if you're a guy yeah. who's throwing 30 touchdowns a game, it's if all you're about up, timing. It's all about timing. It's yeah. all about timing. That's what Kirk's banking on. He'll have another good but, year but and you're cash right. in. I mean, Stafford, and, you know, look, he's put up really good offensive numbers the last three years under Caldwell, but he's never won a playoff game. Never. He's got a losing record. And I get it. It's Detroit. They've gone through, you know, their share of coaches. And, um, but, man, he's like four or maybe even more, six or seven games under 500 and has never won a playoff game. Never. Well, yeah, that's, that's really amazing at times what guys are paid on here. If this was Rodgers or something or Brady, you know, there's kind of up guys. So Kirk was willing to, to gamble on himself knowing the prices are just going to keep going up and up, and he was better off waiting. 
And I don't know if the Redskins can afford them. Uh, well, they can afford them if they want, but I don't know that they'll, they'll pay it next spring. Well, think about I, it. Rodgers has to get – when Rodgers is up, whenever that is – He's got to get a hundred million guarantee, and Ryan's going to get redone soon too. Of so course, just and then go he's got to get one hundred and fifteen. Right, right. Yeah. And it just keeps going up because those guys have at least won Super Bowls or played in Super Bowls. Right. Yeah, the scary part is Rodgers is a lot older, so to guarantee him a hundred mil, uh, you know, versus Kirk who's still in his twenties, uh, yeah, that's that's putting a lot. But Green Bay has no choice there either. Man, these, these things are just out of control, you know. But CBA still has a few years to go before anything can change.